What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we're going to be talking about some more Black Ops 2 information, and uh, it's some pretty big stuff. I mean, yesterday was a huge deal because we saw the first multiplayer trailer, we got to see gameplay for the first time, and learned a lot about the game, but today is the day that a lot of major news outlets like Kotaku or DualShockers, or there are a bunch of other guys writing articles about this, are starting to take notice of some information that was leaked about a week and a half ago, and uh, you know, typically I like to stay away from these things because they're usually false, you know, it's usually a lot of bad information. And they're more like wish lists than anything, but this list of leaked information is different It was posted on July 31st So again about a week and a half ago, but some of the stuff in it We also saw in the multiplayer trailer So for example, there is a multiplayer map supposed to be called turbine that was in this leaked information And its description was it's a valley in Yemen with overturned windmills Well, we saw something pretty similar to that in the multiplayer trailer yesterday. Did we not? There's another thing in here He was talking about primary weapons. There's an assault shield that you can play Place down and uses cover while you shoot your gun from behind it. We saw that in the multiplayer trailer as well. And then finally, one last little example here. Uh, under kill streaks, it was talking about a microwave turret. Now, is that not what we saw the guy place down on the bridge and it kind of stunned the enemies in front of him? So, uh, you know, again, this list could be 100% false. It's not confirmed at all, and I want you guys to know that. But there probably is some information in this thing that is going to be true that we will see in Black Ops 2. And uh, you know, anyway, it's just it's kind of fun to talk about this stuff and see. What what could and could not be in the game, but uh, let's get into this. So uh, I'll link the article or the paste bin file down in the description if you guys want to follow along. But uh, starting off here, some of the kind of general multiplayer features that are going to be added is uh, number one, the new created class system. Uh, your classes are based on how much equipment you have. You're not forced to choose things you don't want to use. And uh, we've seen this before. I mean, there's that 10 point allocation system. You no longer have to have one primary weapon with one or two attachments, one secondary weapon with one or two attachments, etc., etc. You can have no primary weapon and six perks, or you can have a primary weapon with three attachments on it. You know, you can do whatever you want. You know, we did see that in some of the classes in the trailers, so uh, that's, you know, real. That's going to be in Black Ops 2. Now, uh, another feature they talked about was live streaming, and uh, supposedly there's a new live streaming feature which allows you to stream directly from your console, and uh, I don't know. This seems kind of out there. I don't know if this could be true. Maybe they're only referring to the PC with this, but uh, it also said that it may be compatible with Kinect, so uh, again, I'm not sure. That seems a little bit too far out there. If anything, I would call that fake, and then finally, it talked about dedicated servers. No, it's not talking about for console guys dedicated servers have been confirmed for PC but they will not be coming to consoles now I'm uh, moving on let's move to some of the maps that it said we're gonna have so uh, there's one called cargo or dockside and it's supposed to be a Singapore shipping yard which we have seen this map in the uh, this uh, what, what's it called strike force gameplay that uh, that I uploaded my channel before if you guys haven't seen that you should definitely go check it out uh, there's also aftermath which is the ruins of LA we've seen that in some of the trailers hijacked is a close quarters combat map and a yacht slums is the slums in Panama, so maybe that could be something like Favela. Uh, the next one is Drone, which is supposed to be a complex with a bunch of docked aerial drones, which I could see, you know, drones and remote control, you know, kind of robotics things are a huge, huge theme in Black Ops 2. Uh, power Plant is a Pakistani power plant. Nightclub is Nightclub and Al Jinan from the campaign. Overflow is a business district in Pakistan, another Pakistani map. Uh, carrier is the USS Barack Obama aircraft carrier from the campaign. That one seems kind of hard to believe. I mean, why would we have an aircraft carrier named the Barack Obama when this is, what, 25 years in the future? He wouldn't even be president anymore. I don't know. Maybe it was named after him because he did something important or, you know, I don't know. It just it seems weird to me that they would name that in, uh, in Black Ops 2. But uh, anyway, moving on. Turbine. This is the one I told you guys about. It's a valley in Yemen with a bunch of overturned windmills. And then finally, Women is a close quarters combat map in suburban Yemen. So uh, those are just some of the maps that they mentioned. Again, these could be true. The names could be different. You know, they change the names of the maps all the time, but uh, that's kind of some of the areas and some of the places we could be expecting to play in Black Ops 2. Now, uh, moving on, uh, some of the primary weapons that were listed in this pastebin file were the Assault Shield, which we've seen before, the Scar, the Vector, the Ballistic Knife, the AS-50 Sniper, the MP7, which we did see a leaked image of quite a few months ago. You know, maybe that image could be real now. Uh, the Storm PSR, which I believe is that uh, sniper rifle that we saw in the E3 demo that could see through walls. Uh, the Crossbow with Explosive tip and holla freaking luya 
no more noob tubes. So I just, I hope that this pastebin file is right. If one thing in this is right, I hope that's it. I hope that there are no more noob tubes in, in Black Ops 2. That would be awesome. Now, uh, moving on to some of the secondary weapons were mentioned. Uh, the SMAW, which is a launcher, the 5.7 pistol, the Beretta Burst pistol, which it sounds kind of like maybe the Rathica from Modern Warfare 2, uh, the RPG and the Stinger missile, uh, lethal equipment, there's the Frag, the Claymore, and the Combat Axe, which is supposed to be like the Tomahawk. You know, maybe they just renamed it. We did see something similar to that in the trailer yesterday. Uh, tactical equipment, there's Flash, Smoke, EMP, Concussion. Those are all just kind of general, you know, we're used to seeing those. Uh, also, the Taser Spike, which I think could be the Shock Charge, which was uh, which was shown in the multiplayer trailer yesterday. Maybe they just changed the name on it since this pastebin file was released. And then also the TAC Insert, which I think was what the Shotgun Sark class was placing down in that last part of the multiplayer trailer that nobody can really figure out. I think that was a TAC Insert, but uh, anyway, so yeah, TAC Inserts are coming back. Now, moving on, kill streaks. This is where it gets kind of interesting. So, uh, some of the kill streaks mentioned in this pastebin file were the UAV, the care package, and the RCXD. We've seen all of those before. The microwave turret, which we saw an example of in the uh, the multiplayer trailer. You know, that thing does look pretty useful. Uh, the death machine, which was awesome in Black Ops. I hope it's an actual kill streak now rather than something you can only get out of a care package. The Hellstorm missile, which is the same as a Predator, but you can deploy a cluster bomb before impact. So that sounds pretty cool. You know, something similar to the Predator missile. Uh, the multiple grenade launcher, which, uh, oh my god, I thought grenade launchers weren't coming back, but uh, supposedly it's a rapid fire grenade launcher. So maybe grenade launchers come back, but only as kill streaks. That would be pretty cool. Uh, the QR drone, which uh, as we saw in the multiplayer trailer, it was called the Dragonfire. It's just that quad rotor drone that uh, we saw in the FPS Russia video. Uh, the AI tank, which I believe is the AGR that we saw gameplay of in the uh, the multiplayer trailer. Uh, the sentry gun, which we've seen before. An orbital VSAT, which is ex described to be just like a Blackbird. You know, it's a UAV where you can see where enemies are pointing in real time. Now, these next two are pretty interesting. So, the first one is a single seeker drone. And it's supposed to be a drone that goes up in the air, it goes to the nearest enemy, and it dive bombs him and kills him. Just like a, a kamikaze plane. We've seen that in a couple of the trailers before. And then also, there's the drone storm, which is many single seeker drones and one and I think that's what we saw at the end of the trailer you know there were all those planes flying around everywhere I think Woody mentioned in his breakdown video that what if this was a kill streak it would be really powerful well that's what I think it is you know these things fly around they dive down on people and kill them so uh, that's pretty cool that's another thing that I think makes this pastebin file of all this information uh, it could be pretty legit now uh, moving on there's a couple of kill streaks left there's the EMP the chopper gunner the load star which is supposed to be just like the Reaper it's a plane you fly around and you can shoot missiles down at people and there's also the helicopter escort which is I'm assuming gonna be like an H6 overwatch it's described as a helicopter that follows you around and it kills people uh, attack dogs which we all know what those are those are returning we saw them in the trailer and then uh, that's it so uh, those are the kill streaks they sound pretty cool uh, I'm pretty excited to see a couple of them especially the drone storm I and mean, that thing just sounds so freaking powerful but uh, anyway we got a couple of things left we're gonna talk about perks and then one quick little zombies tidbit of information that uh, that sounds pretty cool so uh, for perks that were listed in this pastebin file. There's Ghost. No information was given, so I don't know if it's going to act exactly like Ghost from Black Ops. We'll have to see, but uh, Ghost may be returning. Fast Hands is supposed to allow you to swap weapons faster and throw grenades faster. Uh, Dexterity is supposed to allow you to climb obstacles faster. Lightweight can either make you run faster or run longer. So that's something we haven't seen before. Maybe in perks you can choose one thing or another. I don't know. There wasn't a lot of information there, but that's just what they said. Uh, flak jacket is going to be the same as in Black Ops. It'll protect you from explosives and then probably from airstrikes or fire, napalm, or, you know, whatever. Uh, tactical mask is also going to be the same as in Black Ops. It'll protect you from concussions and things like that. Uh, Cold-blooded is, is another perk in there. You know, it's something we've seen before that's kind of like a ghostish type perk, but uh, there was no information given given for that. And then finally, another very, very good piece of information. There is no more last stand. It will not be returning in Black Ops 2, which is awesome. So two of the most infuriating things, grenade launchers and last stand, will not be returning. Good job, Treyarch. We all love you. And uh, finally, the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is this little tidbit of zombies information. And don't get too excited because it sounds crazy out there. You know, it is possible, but, uh, you know, this seems almost a little bit more on the fake side of things. But uh, there was a little 
little piece of information at the end that said that players can turn into infected zombies, play as a zombie, and run around and claw at the living and try to turn them into zombies. So, I don't know. I think that would be awesome. It seems, it seems like something that they could do, but uh, it just it seems a little bit out there at the same time. So, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, anyway, guys. So, there you go. That is all the supposedly 100% accurate leaked information that came out within the last week or so. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Whether it's true or not, it's just kind of fun to talk about. And as more Black Ops 2 information surfaces, you guys know I will be covering it for you guys. There should be a lot in the next couple of weeks. There's Gamescom where there's going to be a lot of multiplayer information revealed as well as a lot of zombie stuff revealed. And then uh, there's the GameStop Expo, which I'm going to be going to where I get to play the game. And, uh, you know, overall, we're just we're getting pretty close to the release date now. We're only a couple months away. So uh, we should be getting more stuff about that. And uh, also, I've got a bunch of great Modern Warfare 3 videos for you guys. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Check out one of the other two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. And I'll catch you later, guys. Peace.